Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. I wanted to get on and talk to y'all about the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. I've been trying it on my locks. Let's get into it. If you're new here, and the spirit moves you, consider subscribing. So yeah, I wanted to try this shampoo out for a while actually because a lot of other people within the lock community had talked about it and how it had helped them with managing buildup issues that they had in their locks. As far as smells go, it's not the best fragrance I've ever smelled. It's very synthetic. It has a very, uh, you know, it's, it's like that old school Johnson and Johnson kind of synthetic jasmine fragrance baby wipe smell <laughs> so you know you know i feel like a lot of us in the natural hair world and the lock community too have gotten used to a certain caliber of fragrance you know you have companies like shea moisture out here doing the thing um giving us you know moroccan oil cream butter shea vanilla bean deliciousness and things like that this 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 is not that. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, the instructions in this also say to use it once a week. I don't know if that's more for people that have straighter hair textures, but similar to doing an apple cider vinegar and baking soda soak and things like that, something that's a little bit stronger and it's gonna break down the buildup that's in your locks. This is along the same vein. So I purchased it a few months ago and I've only used it twice. Um, the first time I was battling through some buildup because I wasn't showering in a place that had a shower filter, so it was a whole big debacle. And I had to go with the Dawn soap and then I followed up with this. And then the second time was about a month ago um, and more of a preventative maintenance kind of wash. I wanna make sure now that every couple of months I am um, attempting to keep buildup from even starting in my locks. So I reached for this. Something I will say about this product is it foams and lathers a lot. I would also say that if you're someone who has some sort of pre-existing scalp conditions or has a scalp that's easily irritated by things, I would focus the shampoo more on where you feel like the buildup probably is. So like the shafts of your locks rather than your scalp. Because again, this formula of shampoo is meant to break down things that are in the shafts of your hair. It's meant to remove excess product on your hair, whether you're locked or a loose natural or you know, anywhere on the hair curl texture spectrum. That's what this is for. Definitely you will need to follow up after this with you know, whatever you use to condition your locks. For me, it's Dr. Bronner's, their citrus organic hair rinse. Um, definitely followed up and kind of actually did like a little bit of a set in with that after this. Um, maybe a hot oil treatment can help out with this as well because this will, again, dry your hair out quite a bit. So just be prepared for that. But overall, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I am definitely gonna keep it around in case I ever have any more issues with buildup, and again, also as a preventative step for buildup as well. If you know of any other shampoos that can help with preventing buildup or removing buildup from locks, let me know in the comments below. I'm Halise, I'll see you when I see you.